So I'm going to show you how to upload a track to the UCSC Genome Browser. So first I'm going to search for the UCSC Genome Browser in Google. And it's going to bring me to this first link. I will click on this link. And then this is the landing page for the Genome Browser. To find the genome of interest, hover over this genomes and then click on the version of interest. So for example, the human genome HG19 in this case. And to find the Add Custom Track button, it's below, and you click on this. And then you can click on Browse to upload your specific file. And this can be a zipped form in this case. And then I click Submit here. So this takes a few seconds to upload, depending on the size of your file. In this case, I am uploading a bed graph. So this is a ChIP-seq data set for a triple negative breast cancer cell line, H3K27. Um, once it's processed, uh, as far as uploaded, you can go to Genome Browser directly. And I'm just going to type in a gene uh, beta actin, for example. And then it'll take me to this specific gene. I will then click on this over here on the left to configure the track. And I want to display it as a full mode. And I will click OK here. So now you can see the RPPM based normalization of this track. And you can zoom out by clicking on the top here. So 10x zoom out. And I will do another 3x out. And then you can see here, this is a specific gene. And then this is an intergenic region in between here. Um, and you can actually go in and drag it along to reposition the track. Or you can hover over and then highlight a region of interest. So for example, in that case, you can also change the smoothing by adding a moving average. So if you go back and right click on this and configure, you can then use uh, mean whiskers or just mean itself. And you can also add some smoothing, uh, for example, two pixels, and then click OK. And then this will show you the different distributions of, of H3K27 across the genome in this specific case.